Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium sulfite. I have a nice little table to help us organize the information, and it's going to be easy as pie. Take a look. Bam! So the first step of the process is we're going to write down the elements we have in the compound. So nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Then we're going to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, just simply put a 1 there, because that's what it is assumed to be. Now to find the total number of nitrogen, it's going to be 1 here, multiplied by the outer subscript. Okay? Since this is in parentheses, you have to always take into account that outer subscript. So the total amount of nitrogen is found by taking 1 and multiplying it by 2, so that's 2. Hydrogen, therefore, would be taken, uh, we'll, we will be taking the 4 and multiplying it by the 2, so that would be 8. Sulfur, there is only 1. There is no outer subscript there, and the oxygen is indeed 3. Okay? And then we're simply going to take those uh, number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. Periodic table. So the masses here are 1.01 for hydrogen, 14.01 for nitrogen, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is going to be 32.07. So that's what we're going to write down, 14.01, 1.01, 32.07, and 16. Yeah, you start to do this long enough, you memorize the numbers. I'm not sure what that does for you in life, but you know. Uh, then to find the total mass of the compound, you're simply going to multiply this row and across. So that's going to be 28, or excuse me, to find the total mass of the element in the compound. I'm not sure if I said that right, but uh, anyway... Now I did. So uh, we're going to find the total mass of the nitrogen is going to be 28.02. Uh, hydrogen is going to be 8.08. .08. Sulfur is going to be 32.07. And oxygen, therefore, is going to be 48. Okay. Then to find the total mass of the compound, which is what we're interested in, got to add this whole column up. Okay. So that's 116.17 units of mass. And since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are grams per mole. So there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.